Mission complete. But the rogue remains at large. They dropped me off here at the tower to stay at the grid for the night. Good. Right on schedule. I need the coordinates for my next mission. Richard, you know I can't stand that old kook. You have no choice. Rendezvous with Richard. The rogue's not far behind you. Fine. I'm out of there now. Dark fell it out. He's the only agent we would trust with this job. He must succeed. The fate of the agency rests in Dark Velvet's hands. Miller, Dark Velvet's still out there. I need you, Angus, and Hughes to begin scouting around in preparation for his arrival. I'm headed to the bunker now to try and catch him and that moron, Tricky Dick, off guard. I'll meet up with you soon. Just lay low and find Dark Velvet. Plumber. Get in here. Same trip. Sure. Look pretty good to me. What? Oh, you know. Shouldn't have even come here. Sit down, boy! just some backwater ace with no field experience. Well, frankly, I don't give a hoot. You came here for one reason. You need help catching the rogue. And if you'll let me, I'll help you do just that. I know the rogue. I know how to defeat him. I know his weaknesses. Why are you looking at me like that? Like what? Like this. It's creeping me out. Oh. Uh, yes, sorry. My... My... Human... Interaction has been a little sparse of late. How about, uh... How about this? No. How about, uh... This. Nope. Still creepy. How about that? The problem is, he's been out of your game too long. All your agents, with your fancy cars and weapons, you think you can take on the world. Only you can't. He's different. Crafty. Smart. It'll take more than a couple of cute toys to bring down the rogue. Dark Velvet. But why you? 
Why not let me handle this myself? Haha, <laughs> fat lot of good that did ya. <laughs> Last time I heard, you had to be airmailed to the tower after barely escaping the rogue. I completed my mission. That's what matters. What matters is catching the rogue! He was my best student. My only student. After he went rogue nine years ago, HQ dropped me, they scrapped my program, and they sent me back here to guard this safe house. They only let me back in HQ for the annual wine and cheese gala, which is probably where you form your first opinions of me. You know, I do remember you throwing cubes of cheddar at me. And when I asked you to stop, you said, Good one! Formal events have never been my strong suit. Alright. Enough. I've put up with your crap at every gala since I joined this service. You are no longer a regulated agent, and as of right now, I'm a day's drive away from a man who has every intention of killing me. Stop messing around. Tell me what you know about the rogue. The Rogue has acquired a very specific set of skills over the years. Most of his moves, however, are ones that I've taught him. You are such a great teacher. Why did he abandon our service? Some men are born to resist authority. Others, like us, are born to uphold the power that protects everything that's good about this country. Which is? I'm not sure anybody knows the answer to that question anymore. So what are we fighting for then? What's the point? I ask myself that question every day. You know, I've always loved archery, as opposed to your shiny metal guns. The rogue never really appreciated the simplicity of a bow and arrow. Hell, no one in the service did. You know, you may just think I'm some loser in a shack in the woods, but not even fat piss yellow spleen has a beat on me. The rogue is strong, but he's far from agile. He's smart, but his anger obstructs his intelligence. Know your purpose, know your mission, and execute within your limits. Do that, and you will have found his greatest weakness. Yes, I'm in route to the bunker. I'll arrive at some point tomorrow afternoon. Hopefully I can cut him off and take him on there. Velvet and Dick have something up their sleeves. I can guarantee you that. There are already men waiting out there for you, you know. I know. You're gonna need new gear. New weapons, clothes, a new vehicle. I've got my Cadillac parked up around the bend. You take that. Be gentle on the leather. Why are you doing this for me? Why not? I was a young agent myself once. I watched my chances slip away because of the rogue. Don't make the same mistake. I appreciate it. I really do. At home. But stay out of sight. The rogue schoons are going to be all over the neighborhood in the coming days. But lay low. 
They won't act until he shows up. And when he does show up, you give that strudel a piece of what's coming to him, you hear? It's all in your hands now, Dark Velvet. Consider it done. He has no idea what's coming to him. Good. Good. I'm just gonna go deal with our friend Mr. Richard quickly. I'll be on my way. Don't lose sight of him and don't kill him. Velvet's mine. I guess I shouldn't be surprised you showed up here. Got a tango with the old dog for your foxtrot with the young pup, eh? <laughs> oh, you're gonna dance. <laughs> your toy doesn't scare me! You never were one for technology, were you, Tricky Dick? <laughs> You never were one for manners, were you, tickle puss? Now you listen here, old man. I put up with you for far too many years. And I refuse to let you stand in my way any longer. Glad to see you're still your old, angry self. You haven't changed a bit. Oh, but I have. And your little organization... I would hardly call it my organization. Whatever. You, Dark Velvet, and all the chums over at HQ are going to pay for all the years I put into this second-rate intelligence agency. You shut your mouth, boy! You shut yours! I am justice. I was what HQ was looking for, but you cast me aside and turned me in. Your methods were flawed. Your methods were useless. Day after day, I sat listening to you and learned nothing. The second I took things into my own hand, you turned me in and I lost everything. You're, you were a monster. You are a monster! Shut up! I want to spit on you so bad. But I can't get the... Don't worry about it.
Nine years. Nine years in exile. Bloodshed, agents lost, but it'll all be worth it. I'll have control of HQ once again. We don't need to look gloomy, Tricky Dick. Let's lighten the mood.
I know why you're here. I know who sent you. I know he means to kill me. But he won't get that satisfaction. Not yet. Tell me, how does it feel to be all alone? Abandoned, really. Dark Velvet, where did they even come up with this? Your agency is nowhere to be found. Richard, I blew him and his little old cabin to kingdom come, and I liked it. Oh, you grew fond of Richard. What a uh, pity. The only reason you're not dead is because I'm willing to give you a choice. choice between me and your little service. A chance for you to take over the agency with me. A chance to use a new power to acquire intelligence and authority necessary to control our nation's every move. A chance to rule all. What do you say? No. Nah. Odds be never in your favor. Bastard. We have your next mission. I don't know if I'm ready to do this. You must be. What'll happen to Richard? Richard? We 
found a pretty useful job for him. Your new partner, Dark Velvet. <laughs>